So we do pray for our veterans who lost their life in service to our nation today, Memorial Day. And uh, I want to remind you of that right here at the beginning of the homily. Uh, this gospel here is so rich, so beautiful, so multifaceted. I don't know where to start, okay, but uh, I have to get started. We hold this treasure in earthen vessels. Have you ever heard that? St. Paul speaking about our soul, speaking about the gift of faith, speaking about being made in the image and likeness of God. We hold this treasure. You know you have a treasure? There's not a single one. There's not a single person who is not wealthy, who does not have riches beyond our imagination. People may read this gospel and say, well, I'm not rich. It doesn't apply to me. Oh, yes, it does. And oh, by the way, I'm sure just about everybody sitting in here right now is rich. It's particularly when we consider it from a worldwide perspective and a historical perspective. And so this rich young man approaches Jesus. Good teacher. And Jesus rejects the title of good. Not because Jesus isn't good, but because only God is good and this young man doesn't recognize Jesus as God. He doesn't know who Jesus is. Why do you call me good? What must I do to be saved? You know, we have to take that question and bring it down to the bottom of the gospel. For men, it is impossible. We cannot save ourselves. No matter how well we keep the commandments, God saves. That's what Jesus' name means. Does that mean we have to do nothing? Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Yes, you have to do something. Now, how we balance these two truths that you cannot save yourself and yes, you have to do something. That's one of those mysteries of faith. We must keep the commandments. And the commandments are not all do, do not, do not, do not. They include you must. You must be faithful to your wife or husband. You must be. Do not commit adultery. You shall not steal. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, there's this incredible reflection on all of the commandments. Not paying a just wage is stealing, according to the teaching of the church. Not paying a fair wage to your employees is stealing. This young man says, all of these I have kept from my youth. Well, Jesus kind of meets him where he's at. And you know, when he says to be perfect, to be whole, to be complete, go sell what you have, give to the poor. Doesn't even say give it all to the poor. He just says, give to the poor. And come follow me. But he was sad. But we also have to reflect on the fact that Jesus looked at him with love. And you know, I could go on and on. That's enough. Reflect on it yourself. What a beautiful, challenging, rich, awesome gospel it is. From Jesus who comes to save us from our selfishness. Of something we cannot do ourselves. But thanks be to God and Jesus Christ who comes to save us. You know, you have an incredible richness in the earthen vessel that is your body. It is your soul which is beyond price. And we must give it to God.